with Rob here and welcome to my video on how I go about soldering connectors onto my ESCs. As you can see here I've got a brushless one with the blue, yellow and orange leads and also surprisingly um, no battery connectors. So I've got uh, a couple of uh, or one Tamiya connector. I've also got this uh, motor that I've not had before and it's come with these um, connectors already done for you so you push them on not that I'm going to do it because it is hard to do and uh, that uh, brass is uh, quite sharp so uh, we'll save that until the we've uh, soldered them on but that means you don't need to solder wires onto the motor itself so all this soldering is done off the motor so there's no chance of overheating or causing any damage so let's get on and do some soldering I've got my connector here and uh, here's my wire we'll do the yellow one because it's the last one. I've just uh, tried to clean the tip. I don't know what's going on with this tip. It's a new soldering iron and uh, I've only used it the once in, in a test so this is the first time in real life shall we say so uh, I'm currently changed the tip to a broader one because it's quite a bit of solder I'm needing to do and I'm just holding it on to warm the piece up and then hopefully it says we can start flowing the solder in and pulling it up can't see there we go like so and then before it has a chance to cool down too much we can bring the wire in and press it on There we go, it's melting the solder that was already on the wires and then we hold it on there for a second or two till the solder solidifies and that's that one soldered and we just need to uh, leave them to cool down for a bit. Wow. Those are the three connectors. Uh, once they cool down a bit, I've got a bit of heat shrink sleeving in the various colours because uh, they did come with some on. So I thought uh, because oh, if we go here, because they poke inside the motor, I should put them back on really, just in case we don't want any shorts. Um, and for the battery connector, these are, as you can possibly see, these are actually crimp connectors. Um, but I've never had much success with the, either crimp tools or the other thing I use which is pliers so what I tend to do is uh, solder them on as well so initially I'm going to cut a bit of the insulation back again on both of these can get wire strippers but uh, I used to do this for a living not that I'm any good at it but uh, hey there we go and then what we really ought to do is grab hold of that and I really don't know what's going on with this but uh, Get 
Yeah. Come on. That's it. Basically, because it's such a thick wire, it can take a while for it to hot up before it'll melt into the wire or before the solder will melt into the wire and you just have to be patient okay folks i've changed the tip to uh, a slightly smaller one and it does seem to be a lot better if i uh, dab solder on it actually stays on Woohoo! so we'll start try again eh? and i'm just going to place it on to the connector hold it on there for a while and then that's loads better there we go it's a lot better and then we take one of the wires and try and Clean it up a bit because uh, there's a stray wire. And then hopefully connect it on again, get the solder running, and hopefully we can. Uh, Solder that on like so. Hold it there for a second. Ouch! And let that cool down and we can do the same with the other one. Once the solder's had a chance to cool down we can uh, take the connectors and with the crimp flaps still sticking up we can simply fold them over with some uh, Long nose pliers in my case, like so. And don't worry if it's not too neat, there is quite a bit of room in this connector. And before you push these in, because uh, they're a bugger to get out, not impossible, but uh, a bit of a pain. I get an existing battery and plug the case in so that I can then line the black up with the black and the red up with the red. And there we have uh, one wired up ESC and uh, what I'll do is uh, oh I've got it there so we're, we'll carry on with the last job of uh, sorting out this heat shrink sleeving so if we do that mark it up like so I can then cut it off maybe a bit longer than I really need and then get my blowtorch wrong one <laughs> it does help if you get the right cable poke it over like that and then typical oh there we go Get a bit of heat on it and it should shrink down to a nice tight fit like so and then again I'll leave that to cool down and then I'll cut that excess off and then we can come to the blue one
and repeat for the yellow one. So, once you've done that, it should all be wired up. Um, I've left these long because uh, I don't know what cars I might be putting it on. For, for the minute it's going on me Absima, but uh, you never know if it's a bit fast for that I might uh, move it. So I've left these leads intentionally long. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Cheers! Bye!